Brian Anderson here. With me tonight are analysts Richard Jefferson and Grant Hill, and our reporter, Allie LaForce. No matter what they try, they can't seem to get over the hump. That's when frustrations mount. You can see it in their faces. Sometimes they even look defeated before they take the floor. B.A., the one-hand dunk just looks so fluid. Yeah, and absolutely. Even smooth when he's powering at home like that. Now, here is James. Just five to shoot. Pass to Reeves. Here's Reddish. No good. Nice D from Tatum. And here are the Celtics. And their first look at this year's Lakers squad. They didn't give up a single victory to this team. last regular season, which went according to script. Such a great athlete, an elite athlete. JB is at his best, in my opinion, when he is attacking the rim. And for the Celtics, Grant, when it comes to something like rebounding, it's a total team effort. Well, it's part of their personnel strategy, B.A. Get wings and guards that have length and toughness, which allows them to control the glass and switch just about everything defensively. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. They come into this one following the loss to Atlanta. They hit a couple big shots, but overall, there was a lack of consistency. Just not their night at the offensive end. 
and tonight I expect them to play better offensively, try to get some closer looks. And Grant, the teams we'll see tonight have some strong veteran leaders. You were in that role not too long ago, my friend. You're right, B.A. It feels like just yesterday, and you need a steady presence and voice on the player side. It really can help a team through some rough stretches throughout the year. Oh, Tatum slams it home. Yeah, the savvy of Horford on display. Just tremendous passing as a big. Hachimura from long range. Can't get his first shot of the game to fall. Seems like this offense is being executed the way it was designed. Yeah, I'm sure Coach couldn't be happier with the results. Boy, that foul looked intentional. Not exactly what you'd expect here. Yeah, no, it just doesn't make sense given the situation. I mean, I'm just not sure what he was thinking right there. I mean, he needs to get his head in the game. Outside Tatum. Pass to Porzingis. And a slam dunk by Porzingis. Now, we know he can hit threes, but Chris Stapp's showing he can slam it, too. At last, their cold streak is over. They finally found something that worked. <laughs> yeah, the lid's now off, guys. Maybe they can rattle off a few more in a quick order. And Richard, last season, Pau Gasol became the 12th player to have his jersey retired by the Lakers. And look, Pau Gasol was the number one pick in my draft class. He was Rookie of the Year. For me, he deserves to be up there with those greats. His 16 jersey hangs in the rafters right next to Kobe Bryant's. Their partnership, their brotherhood. Kobe was the first one to say that his jersey belongs in those rafters, and they wouldn't have won those two championships without it. And the Celtics in possession here. Following the score by the Lakers. Inside. And Holiday powers it home. I mean, what an athletic play for Holiday. Showing up the defense with a jam. Pass to Reeves. There's Davis with the three. And here are the Celtics. They're on a 12 to 4 run. The kick to Tatum. Now Porzingis. Again, the Celtics good for two more. <laughs> I just love the ball. Pass to Reeves. Achimura from long range. Spins it home from three-point land. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. And a slam dunk by Porzingis. Nice one-handed jam. Simple and effective, B.A. Hey, with the lead, I'm surprised he didn't come up with something a little more creative. It's Brown on the wing. Looking at his stats, he's getting just over 23 points a game. Pass to Porzingis. Back to Horford. Late clock. The Celtics got to hurry here. And that one's good. Poor Zingas. Building a big advantage early with a terrific all-around performance. They got off to such a hot start, and that can keep you energized throughout the whole game. So tough to keep him in front of you. He's always playing on his front foot using that first step. Pass to Porzingis. Again, Boston. Their offense is really humming right now, and it's because of the beautiful ball distribution. 
Stolen by Holiday. Stolen. Here's Reddish. Davis with it. Porzingis picks him up defensively. Outside Reddish. Right side Davis. Out to Achimura. Davis, a screen. Puts up a deep three. And it's Achimura missing. I'd like to see him a bit more efficient. He has not been great this quarter. Outside Holiday. Outside Tatum. From the arc. That one doesn't drop. And as we conclude the first quarter, a one-sided game so far. It's the Celtics up 11. And we'll get the second quarter underway on the other side of this break. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but plenty of time left for a comeback. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for Boston. So far, they haven't had to force anything. They're swinging the ball around and turning good passing into points. You have to like the fact that they're not settling at all. I mean, they've really made a point to get the ball down inside and challenge that interior defense. Oh, there is nothing more fun than putting a big guy on a poster. That is the definition of an aggressive play. Brown can't hit. And Davis has got the ball here for Los Angeles. They trail by nine. And after this one, they're at home against Philadelphia. And they're deep into this homestand. That'll be game four out of five. You know, what's amazing about LeBron is his total effect on the game on and off the court. Richard. Yeah, he makes his teammates better. He makes the league better. And he has been a champion for social justice. And that's the thing. That's why he's going to be top five all time in assists. LeBron James just drops dimes. Pass to Horford. Launches a three. And here's Brown for three. Sinks it from distance. Brown's got five points. You know this is coming with Brown. He is a ruthless sniper outside. Up top, Davis. And the basket by Achimura. So it's Boston now. We're about a minute and a half into the second quarter now. Out to Horford. Let's the three fly. And again, Boston with the triple. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. This one for three. Shot is good by Reeves. Reeves has got himself going here. His first point of the game on the deep ball. Pass to Horford. The kick out to White. Here's Cornette. That shot missing. Davis with the defensive effort. And the Lakers have possession. It's a 10-point game. Now here's Reddish. Back to Achimura. Shoots over Horford. And misses it off the right side of the rim. All right, for those just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second. Outside Tatum. Five to shoot. With the fadeaway. Davis with a rebound. And usually that's a bucket for him, but look, nobody's perfect in the mid-range. You know, since the Lakers moved to L.A. in 1960, they've had the most sustained success in the NBA. Well, think about this, B.A. From West to Magic to Kobe to LeBron, they always have a superstar. And NBA players love living in L.A. And the city loves basketball. Now here's Horford. Boston, no good that time either. To the middle. And finished off by Davis. Ooh, when the crowd gets up, you better get out the way. There's not many people with that length and that athleticism. White. The kick to Tatum. Hey, Tatum getting it done inside. 
and it's just totally relentless, only increasing the intensity level. Always plays hard until the final whistle, no matter what the situation is. I know what they say, defense wins championships, but you need some bucket getters too now. All right, let's check in with Ali LaForce. The Celtics are battle-tested and asked what comes from that experience. Jalen Brown said, quote, boys, being able to see and read the game. Our offense has been able to take leaps by understanding the game and what they want to take away and just letting the game decide. B.A.? Yeah, yeah, that's been the key. Thanks, Alec. Down low, Hayes. And finished off by Hayes. He put a little flair on that one. Yes, he did. Man, he's a strong finisher, huh? The three, Porzingis. And again, Boston with the triple. So smooth off the catch. Porzingis is excellent at judging when to take quick shots. Hayes with a screen. Here's Russell. And finished off by Hayes. And if you try to block his shot, you risk getting posterized because he is good at using that height to his advantage. Two second difference between shot and game clock. Pass to Hauser. Right side, Porzingis. Here's Hauser. From outside the arc. Nails it from three. And the Celtics leap by ten. The unique perspective of a big. Porzingis has great awareness and the ability to easily find the open man. Here's Hauser. No good. Misses at the buzzer. And so that's the end of the first half. Celtics out in front, leading by 10. We'll take a quick break and then get you back to the action. And we hope you've enjoyed the broadcast thus far. We're halfway through the game. Here are the Lakers, trailing by 10. Here's Russell, and the layup falls. Russell's got his first points of the night. And the NBA doing what they could to get rid of the take foul recently. Grant, it seems like a success. Absolutely, it's been a huge success. Fast breaks feel fast again. And penalizing take fouls has made the game much, much better. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. To the inside, Prince. And the bucket is good. That's 10 straight points they've given up in the painted area. Huh. Outside, Porzingis. To the paint. Pass to Hauser. The three is up. Again, Boston with the triple. A dozen consecutive points off of threes. This defense looks rattled. Here's Prince. Here's Christie. No points so far. Here's Denwitty. Porzingis grabs the board. That's just the bucket uh, like you expect him to make. It's tough when you miss them. First team foul. Shooting for Well, Boston's been a franchise that has sustained winning, Richard. Yeah, B.A., look, they've had down years like anyone, but they don't have down decades. And the Celtics, they replenish as fast as any team outside of maybe their rival Lakers. Now here's White. This is the most they've led, 13 points. Here's Porzingis. Porzingis putting the size to work. On the offensive end, Porzingis has been so dialed in, making the most of every scoring opportunity he gets. Davis can't hit. White with it. Picked up by Reddish. Back to Porzingis. Into the third. Two minutes in now. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Oh, coming out hot, hot, hot. Four out of four for the field. Okay. Oh, yeah. That'll do it. Wow, an emphatic two-handed slam. 
Pass to Porzingis. Another one falls for Boston. And right now, that's five buckets in a row. Looking like a well-oiled machine coming out of the break. And the foul on Anthony Davis. That's his first foul. 